Are you trying to understand what the actual difference is between a status column and a drop down column in monday.com? Like you're not really sure when you should be using a status column versus a drop down column? Let me clearly explain the difference between the two different column types in this tutorial. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. In order to highlight the difference between the status column and the drop down column, I've created a board of plans for clients. So you can see here, I have three different clients and I have three kinds of plans. This column is obviously a status column and this is a drop down column. Now, I think the first thing that you'll notice, which to me is the most obvious, is the color. A status column has colors. It's colorful. It's easy to see. It's for people like me that are very, very visual. It's really visual because it's colorful. The drop down is not colorful. Okay, it's, had, it's this light blue, but it's really not a colorful column. That's the first major difference between these two columns. The next major difference is that a status column is a single select column. Like let's say client number three wants to change to the standard plan. My only option is to change them to one other plan. They can't be on two different plans at the same time. If I'm using a drop down column for this, I can simply add another plan. So now you can see client number three in the status column has one plan, but in the drop down has two plans. So the difference number two is a single select of status columns versus a multi-select of drop downs. This also holds true when you're creating a form. If you have a status column, you will have a single select. If you have a drop down, you'll have a multi-select. The third big difference between these two columns is the number of items that you can use within the columns. So you can see here that I have three options. And if I want to change the color, I'm limited to 40 options. So let's just add more than 40 plans. This status column would not work. A drop down column, on the other hand, you can keep on adding more plans and more plans, and you can get up to 500 different labels. So again, status has 40, drop down has 500. So you need co to consider what you're using these columns for and how many tags you're actually going to need, because that's going to make a huge difference. The other two things that I want to discuss is dashboards and automation. So first let's go to dashboards and we're going to go here and build a dashboard. I'm going to add a widget and I'm just going to add a chart widget. Now you can see by default, this chose the status columns for all the different plans. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to duplicate this widget. And in the settings, instead of the X axis being status, I'm going to change it to the drop down. Now you can see they both have the labels of standard plan, basic pro, but this one is picking up the colors of my status column while this dashboard is choosing a single color from the drop down. So again, if you're a visual person, you can obviously see the difference of a status column versus a drop down. The last thing that I want to talk about is automations. I'm going to create a custom automation and I think it will clearly highlight the ease that um, I think how easy status columns are for automations. And I think drop downs are a bit more tricky. So here I'm creating a custom automation and I'm saying when this happens, so I can easily choose when status changes to something. So let's do when status changes to the basic plan, then I want to get notified. So I'm going to notify myself and I'm going to say items name is now, and I'm just going to pick choose, which is going to tell me the basic plan. So I've set up this simple automation for my status. Now, if I want to do a drop down, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an automation. And unfortunately, there's no option for drop down here. So what you have to do is you have to do when column changes. Okay. And I'm going to say my column is my drop down. And then I'm going to qualify it by saying only if a drop down meets a condition. So I'm going to say only if my column, here I have the option contains all, contains one of, contains only. So I'll say contains only. 
basic plan, let's just say. And then I would do notify. So again, I'm going to choose the same notify. I'm going to say is now on the basic plan. So you can see here, I can change to one of, so then I would only have one automation for this, but there are times that you want to differentiate between the different options. Like if a standard plan, then you want to do one thing. And if it's a basic plan, you want to do it, sorry, that you want to do something else. So what would happen is you may need to build out more automations to build out the complexity with the drop down. It's just not as simple of an automation as it is with the status column. I hope that clearly explains the differences between the status and the drop down column. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.